Learn from the past to know the new. How to cultivate good habits. With the help of learning the scriptures, we know that our wonderful bright true heart has this function, that it can give play to killing, stealing, lust, and delusion at any time and any place. Of course, it can also give play to wisdom at any time and any place. How should you actually play? No matter whether your thought is good, bad, wisdom, or ignorance, after all, it is still manifested by your wonderful bright true heart. Although it is still difficult for us to control ourselves, because we have too many bad karmas and too many bad habits, and we have run away without realizing it, but now we know after all that the only thing we lack now is good karmas and habits. How to cultivate the habits of good karma? That is, by using wisdom, precepts and rules once a day, then use them twice a day after using them for a long time and then use them three times a day after using them for a longer time. We should accumulate little by little like this, so that we can reach the point where there is nothing but wisdom in our thoughts, and then we will be able to do it. We study repeatedly so that we can inculcate a solid wisdom. Just like when we were in elementary school, we knew the word, but the teacher still led us to read and write it over and over again. But elementary school students are much better than us. They won't say, teacher, I can write all those words. Why do you still let us write them? It's a waste of time, a waste of our precious childhood time. Elementary school students don't think of that or say that. They just learn what the teacher says. So many of them did very well in elementary school because they didn't have their own consciousness. But nowadays, we tend to think it's a waste of time. Remember, it is not a delay until you have been inculcated to achieve. If anyone has been inculcated to achieve now, or has been inculcated to achieve by a master, or has been inculcated to achieve by the Dharma, or has been inculcated to achieve by the Buddha, you can really stop learning now. Remember, what the Buddha says, what we say, what the Buddha says, what we think, what the Buddha says, what we do. We absolutely do not engage in our own set, nor do we engage in anyone's set, because we believe in the Buddha, not in people, nor in delusions or false thinking. If we have been inculcated to achieve the precepts, wisdom, and rules, we have already reached the point where we have no more useful actions. What else should the men who have no more useful actions cultivate? When you have not yet reached it, you should remain like a child, maintain a naive heart, and maintain a true state of learning, just as we did when we were children at school.